Yo, what is up guys? Vulcan here and today I'm going to be doing uh well this video will be five hundred dollar gemming spree and then the next video uh part two will be another five hundred dollar gemming spree. All in all it's gonna be a thousand dollars and it's gonna be pretty awesome. It's not going to fully max out my account by any means, but it's gonna get a lot of my cards really close to max, and I just am going to kind of target a couple decks so that I can have a few max decks for ladders and uh, hopefully by the end of this opening I'll have a few max decks. Um, I could have done fortune chests but and I would probably max a lot more decks but in the long run I'd have lower level legendaries so I'm doing the legendary king so that I can keep my legendaries uh, up to par and then I'll finish maxing my account probably through grand challenges. Honest thoughts on sandstorm urban organization. You know, I really like Sandstorm. Um, both of their managers, Who Dat and, Who Dat and Sashenka, they are both really great guys. Uh, I'm pretty f good friends with both of them. And overall, it's a really fun environment. Uh, they don't have like as much money as, say, Nova, for example. But, and I don't think they're going to be in the uh, NA CRL, but I think they, they might be able to join Latin CRL. So overall, I, I really like them as a team. Uh, I've really enjoyed my stay there, and I mean, there's, there, I can't say, I can't say too much about it, honestly. I have, I have a lot of good friends there, and, uh, it's kind of a bummer, because with the CRL, a lot of the best players are going to switch clans and join some new esports teams that are coming into the game. Um, you can't really help it, so Sandstorm might be a little bit smaller, and same with a lot of other clans that are in the game, because the players are just going to be more spread out, but... I can't say anything bad about them. Do you want to share a room at King's Cup? Yes, I do want to share a room at King's Cup. So if you didn't know, at King's Cup, I, before I went, I was like, I sent a message on Twitter and I said, who wants to share a room with me? Uh, I'm running low on money and I can't really afford a hotel. And unfortunately, nobody ended up sharing a room with me. I ended up going to King's Cup with my mom, and I was planning on sleeping in a Walmart uh, parking lot because I couldn't really afford a hotel. But then after I won the first day, uh, I knew I could use some of that prize money to pay for the hotel. So I ended up uh, buying a hotel, staying there with my mom overnight. And then the next day, we won the whole event, and it was just like, man, I, I can definitely afford a, a hotel room now. So... How much do you play Clash Royale and which emulator do you use for playing it? Yeah, a lot of people ask me what emulator do I use. And to be honest with you, I, I don't really like playing on an emulator that much because if you try to play on an emulator, which basically means playing on your computer, and by the way, the two emulators that work are Nox Emulator and Bluestacks. I personally use Nox. But the problem with playing on an emulator is that uh, the reaction time is slower. So if I'm playing on my phone, say I try to... Um, cycle like four cars and get to an expo quicker if I'm using a really quick cycle deck and you can more quickly cycle two cards on my phone than I can on the computer so I just like I like playing on the phone better um, but I had issues when trying to record a video on my phone so I have to record videos on the computer and also uh, I broke my left arm so I was playing on the computer for probably about five months because I couldn't even hold my phone but now it's healed, so I can use my uh, computer, or I can use my phone again. Fortnite videos in the future, question mark. No. Well, maybe. I have to get better at the game. So far, I have three solo wins, zero duo wins, and like, let's see, I think seven squad wins. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm not good enough at Fortnite yet to record it. But, I have like... 80 hours I think in Fortnite and I mean it's like the first you know shoot 'em up game or I don't even know what genre it's called but it's like the first gun game I've really played on the computer so I'm practicing you know eventually I might be good enough to record the person but uh, I guess right now I'm pretty bad do you have a hidden talent and if so show us no I don't I'm good at math what is the most enjoyable thing in CR? Uh, definitely, I get the most enjoyment out of finishing high on ladder or finishing high in tournaments. And 
Unfortunately, I haven't been able to finish on high on ladder in a while, but uh, finishing high in tournaments was, or winning the King's Cup was pretty awesome. Uh, I, I pretty much get top three every single like 1,000 person tournament I do, so that's pretty fun. But yeah, I mean, I'm a really competitive guy, so I get a lot of joy out of, I guess, winning competitions. And yeah, I mean, just gonna be honest here. What do you think about the Sandstorm Managers? Are they cooperative? Oh, I kind of already answered this. Yes, I really like both of them. What's one unforgettable CR moment you had, except King's Cup? Okay, the most unforgettable was, I think I finished 334th in the world. Uh, there's a post on my Twitter page. If you look in the description, you can see it. But I finished one position lower than my clanmate in Red Alpha, and both of us were using a deck. We were using a Graveyard Trees deck that only had like two cards difference, and I mean, I made both, I actually made both of the decks, but I was using a little bit newer version, he was using my older version. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty fun, because both of us are like level 12, so level 12 cards, and we finished 330 something in the world. What balance changes would you like to see? Honestly, I think the game is really good right now, like, I really can't complain too much, there's a couple things like a buff, like, I've been hearing people say maybe a, a minor nerfed Dark Prince, I mean, I don't think it's too bad. Um, I think Mega Knight definitely needs a, a little bit of a buff. Lightning needs a buff. And other than that, I mean, I, I really actually like the meta right now. Like, it's a lot of fun to play the game, and a lot of decks are viable. Best way to improve at Clash Royale. Best way to improve at Clash Royale is... What I do is I watch TV Royale, and I try to decide who is the best player uh, like at every deck in the game and I watch TV Real and I wait for like say Nova Bacham or Bacham I don't know how to pronounce it but say he's on TV Real he's like the best Law of Loom player so every time I see him on TV Real I watch how he plays I break down like what would be his uh, starting move and then from that I can figure out how to play decks and figure out what the best starting move I mean a lot of times my thing about uh, how I get good is or the, the first question I always have about playing a deck is, what is the best starting move? So I use TV Route a, a lot to tell what is the best starting move. But one thing about that is that on TV Route, a lot of times, uh, or like 90% of the time, th on those battles, you both opponents know exactly what their opponent's deck is. So you have to watch them kind of with a grain of salt, keeping that in mind. But you can learn a lot from how they play. So... I'm a bit late, but how did you injure your wrist at King's Cup 2? Yeah, actually, I did not injure my wrist at King's Cup 2. I actually injured my wrist at uh, summer camp. And so, basically the story is that I was wrestling a guy. It was like, it was past midnight, and we'd already been doing like a bunch of uh, activities. And like, I was already pretty tired, but we decided we we're going to do this thing called that we called WrestleMania. And we were wrestling. And basically, when I wrestled this guy, uh, we were doing tap out, so he has to tap out in order to lose. And I didn't want to tap out. He was like twisting my arm back. I didn't want to tap out because it didn't hurt at all, and I, I was obviously trying to beat him. Then he twisted my arm back. I tried to pull out of it, and my arm broke. So yeah, my arm actually broke, and not my wrist. The reason I had to wear a wrist cast is because they put, or the doctor put, a permanent metal bar in my arm. So I have like a metal bar in my arm that's like this long, I think it's made out of stainless steel, and it basically screwed it in my arm to keep my bone together, and there's a nerve called the radial nerve, and when they put this, bo when they put this uh, metal plate or bar into my arm, they had to move the radial nerve, which injured it, and the radial nerve controls your wrist, so since they injured the radial nerve, they stretched it out, I couldn't lift my wrist for, I think, six months, yeah, I couldn't lift my wrist for six months, um, but... Then finally, it uh, the nerve healed, so I could start using my wrist again. So yeah, that's that's the backstory on that one. Do you think the next update will be worth it? Yes, I do. Hopefully, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not really that excited about Clan Wars. To be honest, what I well, it depends how they do it. What I really want is like a turn an in-game tournament system that kind of like Grand Challenges, but more like where there's actually a bracket, so you have a clear defined winner, like you'd have a 32-man bracket, and then whoever wins this, 
or everybody would like compete, you know, and then whoever wins the top of the bracket would get a prize. Um, I think they should have a free version for this bracket, and so you could get a free entry, but there's no prize. And then there should also be uh, a paid version, kind of like a grand challenge where you pay like 100 gems or whatever, you get into the bracket, and then whoever wins the bracket gets a certain amount, whoever gets second gets a certain amount, and whoever gets third gets a certain amount of cards. So that would be my idea. And I guess they could kind of implement that idea into Clan Wars. I don't know. We'll see what they do. I, 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 I hope it's good. When are you getting a new PC? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully soon. If I join um, one of these CRL teams, I might get a free PC. So, yeah, that would be nice. What do you think about Heroes? Do you think they'd be a good addition to the game? Okay, actually, it depends how they implement them. If they implement them like as an extra card, so like as a ninth card, I think it's gonna be stupid and completely ruin the game. But if they implement them as like a rarity that's higher than legendary, um, then I think that's completely fine. I just don't want these he heroes to be overpowered. And yeah, so as long as they implement them in the current eight card system, not as like an extra bonus card, I think it'll be fine. Whenever I master some deck, the meta changes. The meta. The meta is changing all the time in CR. How can I keep up with the meta? Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big problem. That's that's something I have too. And literally, it just comes down to playing the game more. Uh, every time there's a... I don't really like balance changes, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because every time I like master a meta, you know, I have like 20 decks at work. And I'm like really good at all of them. The meta changes. They, they balance the game. So, personally, I don't like it that much. Um, it's literally just you have to play the game more every time the meta changes. Do you think this game is sometimes unfair slash rigged in nature? Uh, I mean, yes and no. I think it depends on who you're versing. Say you're a really good player versing uh, an average player and they have a counter deck. The really good player can beat the average player. But let's say you have a really good player versus another really good player. Nine, nine times out of ten, the, the best player is going to win. And then the thing is... I don't know. It's it is it is skill based. Uh, the only time I'd say it really gets annoying for me personally is just when you're like playing the game and you literally verse the same counter deck like four four or five times in a row, and then maybe you beat the counter deck like three out of five times and you lose to it two other times. But it's just like for me, I just hate versing the same deck five times in a row. Um, if I'm losing to different decks, it's fine. But yeah, that that's kind of my thoughts on that. Um, some tips for Graveyard, be patient with it, and try to bait out the poison. How would you implement- oh, and watch my videos. <laughs> How would you implement Clan Wars if you were given a chance? I think I kind of already answered that. If you play on a PC, doesn't it make you react slower? Yes, it does. What is your one wish for the next update? My one wish is that Clan Wars will not be stupid. Uh, and I mean that's really all I can say about that and I think it'd be awesome to have like an in-game bracket tournament kind of like I said What would you Would you like to get into Nova Esports and play with other pros like Pompeo, Tally, and S and Sir Ram or S Ramos? Um, no, because I'm happy at Sandstorm and I mean there's a lot of good players at Sandstorm. It's not just like Nova. <laughs> Nova has all the good players. No, there's an equal amount of good players at Sandstorm and Nova. Uh, so, no, I'm fine. I'm fine where I am. And plus, Tally and Ramos, I don't even think they speak English. So, I don't know why I'd want, <laughs> I don't know why I'd want to practice with them. I like to be able to talk to people I practice with. How many hours should I play Classic Challenges a day to be better at the game? I don't... Mm, I don't think playing Clash of Challenges is the best way. If you really want to get better at the game, the reality is you should just spend 100 bucks and, you know, grind Grand Challenges. Uh, but if you really can't do that, I would say playing Ladder is just as good as Classic Challenges. Because people in Classic Challenges are just not that good. Just gonna be honest, like, it's way easier to win a Classic Challenge than a Grand Challenge. Uh, just playing Ladder and being able to beat higher levels than you will kind of prepare you. Um, another thing you can do is you don't necessarily have to be at your trophy highest. You can use like a tournament level deck and drop a couple hundred trophies and try to just use that on ladder if you just want to practice with a specific deck. And sure, you won't be at your highest trophies, but you can still practice. Um, but how many hours should you play a day? 
I play like two hours every day, so... Yeah. Are you still on a low budget? Kind of, because my YouTube channel has not been monetized, so I earn no money from my YouTube. And... I mean... Yeah, but I'm probably going to participate in CRL, so I'll earn money then. So, it's all good. Who has a better matchup, Expo or Three Musketeers? Okay, this is really interesting, because I was talking about this with Mini Miniature the other day, and... So, if you didn't know, we I did like a bracket, and I lost to Mini Minter, but three of those matchups, it was like, I lost two games, two won three games. But three of those matchups was Expo versus Three Musketeers. And the Three Musketeers deck won twice, and the Expo deck won once, which I was really surprised by, because I thought that uh, Expo would win against Three Musketeers every single time. But, I don't know, it, it was interesting. I think that... He could have won one of the matchups he had Expo, um, but I don't know. It, it's really tough. I would think Expo, but for, apparently from those games, it was not necessarily the case. And like I rewatched the games, and I I know I didn't really make any big mistakes. I didn't rewatch his games to see if he made any big mistakes. But yeah, it's I would say it's honestly pretty 50-50. It's whoever plays better. What are your plans for the future? Goals, leaving Sandstorm, new games, etc. Um, I might have to join a new team for CRL, but we will see because it depends on a lot of factors. In new games, I play Fortnite, but I'm not good enough at it to record. <laughs> um, plans for the future? I well, CRL is going to be in Los Angeles, I think. I don't know, that's the rumor right now. So, my plans, I guess, are to maybe possibly quit the school I was planning on going to. Uh, I was planning on going to a school in Iowa. And it's possible I'm going to join a CRL team and participate in CRL NA, but we will have to wait and see. I am currently waiting for details, so I don't think I should say too much about it. Thoughts on CRL? Oh my, the last four questions are basically about CRL. Let's see, what else can I say? Um, well, first of all, I want to be an industrial engineer, and I'm looking at schools in the new CRL location, and none of those schools have industrial engineering, uh, except one. So what I'm thinking right now is that I can take like two online classes at the school I was planning on attending. Maybe I'll do a CRL or Clash Royale, join an esports team for like a year. And then after that, I kind of want to have a college experience. Right now I'm going to a community college and I mean, that's not really that interesting. A four year college is a lot more, uh, you meet a lot more people at community college. It's kind of just like you do your school, you go home and leave. So I kind of want to get like the four year college experience, but next year I'm probably gonna, I don't know, take off a little bit of time. Not stop school completely hopefully but I'm probably gonna take off a little bit of time of school for Clash Royale and I mean other than that we'll have to see um, I still have to qualify for CRL I think even though I'm talking to a team uh, but a lot a lot of it's just up in the air so we'll, we'll have to wait and see I'm not sure exactly what I'm about to say hopefully I didn't say anything that's not supposed to be said I don't know but yeah, that's kind of my point of view. Um, I'm just waiting for more information because I want to finish my college degree. Uh, I'm in my third year, but I have to, I guess, wait and see what the official rules are for this CRL league. So, yeah, that's that's going to wrap up this video, it looks like. <laughs> Unfortunately, I barely maxed like, any of my cards. I mean, I got Dark Prince and Prince to level 7. But, yeah, that's going to wrap up the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Vulcan out.